We are here today with Jerry Keeney. Could you please introduce yourself? Yeah, my name is Jerry Keeney from the BVRLA in the UK, where we represent the interests of the UK Vehicle Rental and Leasing Association. So Jerry, the BVRLA has hosted and been responsible for the day-to-day -day management of the European Car Rental Conciliation Service since its inception. Um, could you tell us a little bit how the service has been evolving throughout the years and where we stand today? I believe the conciliation service in Europe has evolved really strongly since it was first set up in 2010. Importantly, we have the very strong support of the five largest rental companies in Europe, representing 10 very well-known brands in the marketplace. The conciliation service comes into effect when a consumer has exhausted the independent um, complaint procedure within any of the particular brands. So then they have the right to come to the conciliation service and um, make their complaint um, if that's what they want to do. In 2014, we had about 750 cases which came to the um, conciliation service. And when you looked at those 750, ca 750 cases, it covered rentals in 24 markets. Um, consumers came from 26 different countries. So I think we can say we're providing a genuinely European-based conciliation service to the marketplace. I think when you look at the 750 cases we looked at during 2014, in 42% of the cases, we found actually in favour of the consumer. And I think that's a very strong signal to send out to the marketplace and to send out to, to regulators in particular that may want to look at the sector. Again, if you looked at the cases for 2014, almost 60% of them fell into to three main areas. I mean, it was all about transparency in terms of pricing, what was included in the price, what wasn't included. It was about issues like fueling policies and how those fueling policies were um, uh, controlled. And the third major area was all about the selling on of add-ons or on issues that weren't included within the, um, uh, the initial quota, quotation. So I think it's three really, really key areas and it's a very powerful signal in terms of the areas that we need to work on. Importantly also, I think for the benefit of consumers, the conciliation service is actually audited twice a year by the European Consumer Council. So there's a really strong connection between how we take the complaints, the work we do, and then the Consumer Council coming in and saying, are you operating to the right procedures and the right processes? And I think the way that we look at those cases against the Lease Europe Code of Practice um, is a very strong signal again that we're taking seriously the interests of consumers in this sector. And it really gives an action plan for us as, as we go forward. So we need to look and work with members in terms of this whole issue in terms of transparency. What's included in the price, what isn't included in the price. The whole area in terms of how we deal with end of contract and end of rental damage and how we communicate with consumers before we charge for that damage. And again, reinforce again this whole point about transparency in, in fueling. So we've got a clearly defined action plan of areas that we need, know we need to work on. We can communicate that action plan to the European Commission, to their officials, to regulators in the marketplace, and they understand the work, the work we're doing. And I think that's a really powerful message out there to the marketplace that we're taking seriously in the conciliation service, the needs and the direction that consumers are, are really giving to us. 